guys, welcome to Live and Adore, or v &A for short, where I film videos about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, and apparently, I for some reason have the knack for purchasing the least popular items that exist because every time I look for a review about a certain item I'm interested in, I find little to zero information online, which just blows my mind because the internet is so large that like it just like the fact that I can't find anything about certain items just like baffles me. You know what? That just proves I'm a real life customer just like you are. So please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. It will help me out so much. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, the first video of 2022 is about a handbag. I am so excited to show you guys this bag. This handbag is my last bag purchased for 2021, which I feel like it's possibly my only purchase handbag of 2021. Honestly, I can't even believe we're in 2022. 2021 passed by in a blur, so I'm not even sure what I did, what I didn't do, but let's just get on with the bag. This is the Versace Small Virtuous Handbag. I've had this bag on the back of my mind uh, for about two years. I never pulled the trigger on it simply because I wasn't able to find any information about this bag online. Like I found some videos about people showing the bag, like here, this is the Versace Small Virtuous Bag. It looks like this, but I never found any information where someone reviewed this bag in depth. So I was just like really, really on the fence about this bag. Um, and then it kind of just popped up on Essence um, and Lily was like, why don't you just send it to the store and see? And we all know what happens when you send something to the store just to look at. There is a very high probability you're going to leave with that item. Before I get into the details of this bag, let me just briefly talk about Essence. I am in no way sponsored by Essence. I really wish I was. Uh, they probably just don't know who I am. I'm probably not even a big enough client for them, but I do have a little bit of a purchase history with them. Only perk about living in Montreal is that Essence actually has a flagship store um, in the old port. The flagship store is not a traditional brick and mortar store. So if you go into the store, there is absolutely nothing in the store that you can purchase. They do have like kind of capsule collections that they will display. But if you're looking for a specific item, do not think you can just pop into the store and be like, hi, I'm looking for X, Y, Z. They will literally tell you, you need to book an appointment. Um, so how they work is, Anything you see online, you can have it shipped to the store and see it in person. You don't need to purchase it. You just book an appointment with a personal stylist and you show up on your appointment and everything is set up for you. It's actually quite bougie. I'm surprised I even shop there because I feel like shopping there is like a whole other level. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. The Versace was a brand that I was never into. I was never attracted to the brand purely because of the logo um, with the Medusa head. I just, it's just something personally, I don't have anything against the brand, but personally, anything with a head, anything with a face, I'm typically not into. But when I spotted the black virtuous handbag, I just was like, yes, I need this in my life. Uh, because the logo is something that's so gorgeous. It's so elegant. This is their logo for the Virtuous line. It is like a Baroque V uh, that's in metal with their traditional like Versace print with leaves and ivy. It's just something that I really was attracted to. I primarily really wanted this bag because of the logo, because it is a V. But hear me out, you guys. If your name starts with a V, you probably feel my pain. It is so hard to find anything with an initial with a V that looks cute. I don't know what it is with the letter V, but every time I see like Christmas ornaments or little random knickknack trinkets that are personalized with your initial, when you go and peruse them looking for a V, it does not exist. Like it annoys the crap out of me. Like I will see every letter under the rainbow, including Q and X, but no V. And I don't understand why because there are so many people's names that start with a V. Anyways, I'm digressing. Let's just get back onto the bag. This is the Black Small Virtuous Bag from the Fall Winter 2021 collection. Um, it is made of caskin leather. It is smooth. The dimensions are as follows. It is 20 centimeters in length, 16 centimeters in height. The width is 6.5 centimeters. And the top panel is seven centimeters and the strap is 50 centimeters and it is adjustable on top of that. 
it has a metallic button closure as you guys can see here yeah i have yet to re remove the blue sticky because i don't even use the bag yet um that is how lame i am i am in the dead of winter this bag just does not look cute over a huge puffer coat so i'm just waiting until it gets warmer to use this bag because like yeah it's just it's just waiting to be used uh, the detachable strap actually has the versace um logo printed on it as well as their medusa head right here i'm hoping you guys can see uh focus yeah here like look at all that detail the tiny detail um uh, i know i mentioned i don't like the versace uh logo but it's so tiny here this can be kind of overlooked but yeah pretty much this is the bag when you open it up it's divided into three compartments uh which is why i was a little hesitant about the bag because i feel like you can't get much into this bag so really this bag although it looked quite big is actually really i feel like functions like a mini bag it's definitely a style bag purchase and not a functional bag purchase in my view just because you can't put a lot into it let me just show you guys what i can exactly fit uh, and you guys will have a better idea typically i will have a card holder so this will go in let me see how i can strategically place this goes there i typically will have my phone this is the iphone 13 i have the pro but i'm currently filming on the pro so this is a 13 that i have for work i have a key pouch generally because the bag inside is lined with napa leather i am so paranoid i'm actually going to scratch it i really wish they put a canvas lining um but we'll just make do so that will go in i usually have tissues my car keys I feel like my car keys I will probably put in a pouch just so I can avoid scratching the inside. And of course, because we are currently in a panini situation, I just love how everybody refers to the pandemic as a panini. So I'm just going to continue with the trend. Hand sanitizer. So that kind of goes on top. And I am able to close it. So you can fit your bare essentials into this bag without really overstretching it and distorting its shape, as you can tell. Um, I really wish they didn't have the middle compartment because I feel like it takes up unnecessary space. Uh, but I get it. It's like an accordion style bag. I guess it just adds to the look of the bag. I really wish I could fit a bagu in here, but there is really no space. Um, I will be honest with you guys, once all your items are in this bag, it is a little bit weighted. The bag on its own when it's empty is a bit heavy because of the leather. It is like solid leather. It is thick. Um, it keeps its structure. It stands upright. It is not like thin or cheaply made in any way, but just bear in mind that it does get a little bit heavy, uh, which I don't know why I didn't notice that in the store because I actually put all my items in there, but I don't know if I was just all excited about this bag and I when I got it home and I was like kind of like playing around with it I was like this bag's a little heavy but then I passed the return policy so this bag is mine I guess uh well there is no guessing it is mine uh price point wise this bag retails for $22.50 I did get it on sale because you know me if you've been following me I will not buy anything at full retail price I got it on sale for about I would say 40% off, I paid $14.40 for this bag, which which is honestly for a designer handbag is a reasonable price because I really don't know what's going on with the designer luxury handbag market because the prices are insane. Like they are so crazy now. Like you can't even get a decent handbag less than three grand, I feel like, which is insane. More to come on this bag. I am definitely going to use it and I will film a review on what I think about this bag uh, because it is definitely one of the bags that I'm dying to use. Keep you guys posted on this, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye now!